Let's start in Sukhasana. Please find a comfortable position where you can root down through your sit bones. Please use a blanket or bolster to sit on if you need it so that your spine can retain its natural curves. When you're ready, please close your eyes and bring your attention inward. Slowly bringing your attention in, in ever smaller circles, so that the sphere of your awareness comes into your body and around your spine. Start to deepen your breath. Directing your breath down into your low back. Bringing your inhale to expand the discs between your vertebra. Get the idea of plumping up your discs with your inhale. And as you exhale, just notice the natural flow of movement through your spine. With each breath, work farther up your spine, bringing your breath in to expand the discs and feeling the movement flow through as you exhale. bringing your awareness from your low back to your mid-back, expanding with your inhale, each inhale getting a little longer, and flowing through with each exhale, incorporating more of your spine. Including the vertebra of your upper back in this breath awareness practice. Expanding, plumping up the discs as you breathe in, and feeling the connection of flow through your spine as you breathe out. Finding that place above your shoulder blades but below your neck, right behind your collarbones. Take a breath especially into that area imagining expanding the discs up and out and connecting this place in your body through the rest of your spine. And then bringing your attention into your neck with seven small vertebra and seven small discs, breathing in and expanding into each of those places so that your head lifts off your spine and then feel as you exhale the flow of movement all the way from the crown of your head out through your tail. One more breath encompassing your whole spine on your inhale and a wave-like motion through your spine on your exhale. Then let go of any control over your breath letting it return to its new, natural rhythm. And take a moment here to notice what you notice about your breath, about your spine, and about yourself. Next, we'll do cat-cow. So please come onto your hands and knees on your mat. Take a blanket and fold it up to put under your knees if you need that to protect them. On your hands and knees with your hands directly under your shoulders and your knees directly under your hips, we're going to link the movement with the breath. As you inhale, lift your chest forward and up as your shoulder blades slide down your back and lift your tail. As you exhale, draw your navel toward your spine and the ceiling so that your tail drops and drop your head to stretch through the back with softly bent elbows. Again, inhale, lifting through your chest, lifting your tail, opening through the front of your spine 
trying to create an even curve. And exhale, drawing your navel to your spine. Let your tail drop and your head drop, creating an even curve as you open up the vertebra in the back of your spine. Continue with your own breath, trying to become more aware of the front of your spine as you inhale and the back of your spine as you exhale. Feeling for what movements will make this curve more even through your spine. And one more breath, please, on this. And on your next inhale, come to table position with your spine in neutral. Next, please come onto your back. Have a blanket under your back if you wish, but have your feet directly on the mat. We're going to do Setu Bandha Sarvangasana, also called Dwi Padapitam, bridge pose. But this is a very small, tiny bridge. We're using this pose to create an awareness in the low back. So on your back with knees bent and feet hip distance apart or maybe a little wider, have your arms comfortably relaxed by your sides and your neck nice and relaxed. As you inhale, curl your pubic bone up towards your chin so that your sacrum rolls on the mat. And as you exhale, let go of that pelvic tilt so your sacrum comes back to neutral and your low back retains its normal curve. On your next inhale, again, curl your pubic bone up, roll on your sacrum, and just barely, ever so slightly, lift it off the floor. And as you exhale, set your sacrum back down as gently as you can and let it roll back to its neutral position. Next inhale again, roll your sacrum, lift it off the floor, and then lift up the very next vertebra, just a little bit. And as you exhale, gently set the vertebra back on the floor, and then your sacrum, and back to neutral. Inhaling again, draw your pubic bone up towards your chin so your sacrum rolls, and lift the next two vertebra. Your navel is falling back into the floor to lift up. And as you exhale, set the second vertebra down, then the first, and then your sacrum. Coming up with your next inhale to add one more vertebra, curling up, rolling on your sacrum, lifting it, and then lifting each of the next vertebra in turn your navel draws to the, towards the floor and then just barely lifts and then set ba that back down and gently the next vertebra and then the next and then your sacrum coming to neutral. Coming up again with your in-breath, inhale, curl your pubic bone up, roll on your sacrum, lift it, and each vertebra in turn, rolling up one vertebra at a time and this time staying here. As you exhale, lengthen your tail away from your chest, creating space in these vertebra. And as you inhale, breathe into the discs and lift up a little bit higher here. As you exhale, slowly rolling down one vertebra at a time, taking more than an exhale, taking a full breath or more if you need it to find each articulation in your spine. And when you come all the way down, rest, let go of all tension, and notice how your spine feels. Notice the curve of your low back. Notice what you notice about your low back. Next, please roll over onto your front for Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Again, we're going to use this pose to create awareness now of your mid-back. Please take a blanket and roll it up to put under the front of your ankles. 
Most people need this to get the base of support they need for Bhujangasana. So on your front, please anchor down through the front of your feet and ankles, the front of your thighs, your pubic bone, and your lower front ribs. This is your base of support through the whole pose. Continue to breathe here. And notice the space just below your shoulder blades in your spine, trying to get a sense of the back of your spine there and the front of your spine. Inhale in position here. And as you exhale, anchor down from your lower ribs down through your feet. And as you inhale, lift your sternum, the bottom of your sternum, the bottom of your heart, barely up from just below your shoulder blades. And as you exhale, slowly lower back down. Continue to exhale and anchor down through your lower body. And as you inhale, again, lift from just below your shoulder blades and then one inch higher. So you're lifting the front of the bottom of your heart up. And exhale, coming down one vertebra and then the next, nice and gently setting back down and anchoring down at the end of your exhale. And with your next inhale, again, drawing from below your shoulder blades and then finding the next vertebra up and the next to lift. So you're not lifting very far, just about an inch. Keep your chin tucked and the back of your neck long and exhale, coming back down vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. Anchor down through your lower body at the end of your exhale. And again, inhale, lifting up from below your shoulder blades, trying to find the articulations in your spine here, just between your shoulder blades. So you're inhaling and lifting your heart barely off the mat. And exhale, coming down one vertebra at a time, just like you did in bridge pose. At the end of your exhale, anchoring down through your low body. And again, one more time, inhaling, lifting up from below your shoulder blades, trying to find each vertebra in your mid-back. And staying here as you exhale, think of reaching your tail away from your ribs, your ribs away from your tail here. Inhale, try to find a little bit more strength in the muscles around the vertebra around your back. And exhale, lowering down one vertebra at a time. Very gentle, like setting a baby down in its crib. And then coming all the way down to rest, just letting your arms rest by your sides. Taking a breath and again noticing. We're going to switch positions now. So please draw your navel to your spine to protect your low back and carefully press yourself up onto your hands and knees. Once again, bringing a blanket under your knees to protect them. The next pose we're going to do is called Chakravakasana. It is an alternation between cow pose and child's pose. And again, we'll link the movements with the breath. We're going to initiate the movement from the tail, from the sacrum and working up the spine. So with your hands directly under your shoulders, knees directly under your hips, please inhale in position here. And as you exhale, draw your navel to your spine so that you drop your tail, stretching through your low back. Sink back to child's pose. Feel the movement come up your spine one vertebra at a time. Bend your elbows to come back in child's pose. And then as you inhale, press through your shins. Lift your tail first to create an arch in your back. And as you come up onto your hands and knees, let that motion, that curve, flow through your whole spine. So again, you're opening the front of your spine on inhale. And as you exhale, draw your navel to your spine to drop your tail. Start sinking back to child's pose with bent elbows. Feel this motion flow up your spine from your low back, middle back, upper back, and neck. And with your in-breath pressing through your shins again, lifting your tail, feeling the front of your spine open from your low back or low front, 
middle front, through the front of your chest and through your neck last. And exhale, navel draws to your spine to drop your tail, each vertebra opening to the back one at a time as you sink back to child's pose. And take a breath to rest in child's pose. With your next in-breath, come back onto your hands and knees. We're going to do an undulation called happy dog. We have up dog and down dog in yoga. Here's a fun undulation to add. So on your hands and knees, as you exhale, slowly wag your tail over to the left and turn your chest so that you can look towards your tail. You might not see it all the way, but turn that way. And as you inhale, come back to neutral. And with your next exhale, wag your tail slowly to the right and turn your rib cage, turn your torso to look towards your tail. And as you inhale, coming back to neutral. So we're not craning the neck. This is a movement to feel good. Exhaling now to the left again. Twisting to the left and feeling what parts of your spine enjoy this movement and let them use this movement to open up. Coming back to neutral with your in-breath. And with your next exhale, wagging your tail to the right, turning to the right, feeling for how you can stretch into your spine and create openings from the inside out. One more time to each side, using your breath as a guide, really making this a playful movement, a fun movement, where you can start to feel into your body, feel its restrictions, and use your own movement to loosen them. So coming back to neutral, hands and knees, sink back into child's pose again for one breath. We're going to return to Chakra Vakasana, the wheel pose, the alternation between cow pose and child's pose, but this time with free movement. So as you inhale, lifting your chest and your tail, and as you exhale, dropping your tail and head and sinking back into child's pose, but feel free to add little twists or side bends. Feeling into your spine for any tension or any places that feel like they're wanting some movement, wanting some attention, and using the simple pose of Chakra Vakasana to reach into those places. And maybe even starting to change the focus so rather than the mind directing the spine into what it should do, let your spine ask for what it needs from the movement and let your movement follow that. Taking a couple breaths to let your spine experience this pose in the way that's best for it at this moment. And then please lie down on your back for Shavasana. Take the support you need to be comfortable here. So a bolster under your knees, perhaps, or a folded blanket under your neck or head, or a neck roll. Lying on your back and bringing your awareness in to your spine and your breath. Notice the shape of your spine, the curves of your spine on the floor. Notice as you breathe that subtle wave-like motion and how it flows through. Noticing the little articulations, vertebra, to vertebra.
We've used your breath in this practice to expand the discs, to create energy in your spine. I'd like to ask you to use your breath to create relaxation, to release tension. Feeling the front of your spine, the back of your spine, and the sides of your spine, segment by segment. Using your breath to create ease any place you feel tension. To create awareness using your breath like a gentle, soft glow. Now you may choose to stay in Shavasana with this meditation for much longer, and you're welcome to do so. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to guide you out of Shavasana. I'd like to suggest that you come out of Shavasana from your spine. As you inhale, deepen your breath, directing your breath inside your body, noticing the movement of your spine as you do this, and have a long exhale. As you inhale again, enhance the motion of your spine, exaggerate it a little bit. Starting to bring movement from the inside out, letting your spine direct your flow out of Shavasana. Feeling for any places in your spine that would like to move and allowing them to and letting the rest of your body follow that movement. Breath by breath, checking in with what your body would like. Again, making this transition from the mind telling the spine what to do to the spine directing the movement of your body. and set the intention of rolling over onto your side. And let this wave flow through your body, eventually bring you onto your side. And once you're there taking some breaths and noticing how your spine would like to move here, Maybe it wants to roll to the other side. That's okay. And again, setting an intention and letting the waves through your spine eventually bring you to a seated position. And when you're seated with your sit bones firmly rooted, Inhale and reach the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Notice your breath. Notice the flow of movement through your spine. Notice what you notice. And please bring your hands together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra. Namaste.